Amy met her. So I already touched on this when it happened. There's a uh, we all know what happened with Gord Downey, lead singer of Tragically Hip, the guy who I saw on my 29th birthday in my hometown. That's kind of ironic. Um, so in, in Seoul, there, there was a, a thing on the news of uh, the same guy that did the broadcast in Sunnybrook in Toronto, Canada. I shouldn't say Canada, oh, whatever. Um, talked about how great a spirit he is in. Um, I myself watched clips of him when he was in Victoria, uh, British Columbia, when he was in Vancouver. The hip played and they were still touring. There was a show coming up in Toronto, in fact. Um, and then, and then, of course, there's going to be the documentary, or not, there's the concert, a live concert, at uh, Downs View Park, that'll be put on by the CBC uh, in a few weeks. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to go, because tickets, well, they don't want like that, um, but... Uh, I have seen him, as I mentioned. I'm a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I'm a huge fan, but I'm not a super fan. So, like most people that I've talked to, have seen the Tragically Hip a thousand times, whereas I only seen them once. Yes, I wouldn't mind going to see them again, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen anytime soon. Um. The, all, the thing that really gets me, though, it was actually pointed out to me, was here is a man who just got diagnosed, and he's making the most of it. He's going up on stage, he's performing for people, and understanding people's reaction. They're, ups, they're crying, they're overjoyed to see this man who is going to me you know in the future or so whatever eventually pass away um but it's the fact that I watch this guy and for as much as he is losing a lot of weight and stuff like that he's still going it doesn't matter what kind cancer he has, he's still going up there, and he's still doing it, he's still doing what he does best, and who knows what, what kind, how much time he has, you know, it's, uh, and it's upsetting, but the thing is, the people watching the shows, going to concerts, and crying, and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's very sad, but I would never cry until the very end of someone's life. I lost three of my grandparents, one of them, to cancer, and as much as I was upset, I could imagine crying and I would never have made things better. And so that makes me, you know, understand that, yes, it's a very sad time right now. There's a part of me also that believes that we need to be happy for God. Be happy for Gord right now. Be happy that he's able to do this. He's able to perform for as many people as he can. And that is one of the best things that could happen. You know, and, and, and it just gets me 
interested in knowing, you know, when David Bowie had cancer. Were people upset? When Lemmy Kilmister had cancer, were people upset? When Dio had cancer, how many people were upset? There were probably people that were upset and crying at his shows. But let's not forget also that Gord Down is only 52 years old. He's been, he's still a young man. He quit smoking 20 years ago, so I've heard. He, I don't know how much he takes care of himself. It doesn't really matter. Cancer will hit anybody at any time. And, and the unfortunate part is, is who knows what's going to happen in the future. It's sad because who knows if I'm ever going to see them again. But with the shows that I'm watching on YouTube, songs that I'm watching on YouTube are great reminders of how uh, precious life is. Yeah, I'm watching watching someone um, on stage in all his glory when uh, he knows himself that he has limited time that is very sad for the both of us for, for Gord for Joey for Paul for the you know for the fans it's a very upsetting time and some people don't realize and even Gord said himself that you know the bands never you know try to be a part of Canadian or whatever. But when you think about it, you know, there's... When you think of America, you think of... Well, you think of the band America. You think of Bruce Springsteen, John Mellencamp. You think of probably Bob Dylan. In Canada, you have Neil Young. You've got uh, Rush. And then, the tragically, yeah. You know, others as well, but I'm not gonna dare mention to go back. But you got these guys, these guys that sing about this country, sing about how great this country is. And, uh, it's, uh, tough to say when it's time, but don't be sad, or be sad, but don't cry at this time, celebrate, celebrate with the hip, celebrate with the music, celebrate his life, but you should never act like he's already gone. Because he's still here. And he's still doing his thing. Um, it would be nice if I could have went to the last show. One of the last shows here. Um, it will be on the CBC pretty soon. Yeah, uh, that's it. Talk to you later. Bye.